Now take a look at this before and after picture. What do you think she did to regrow her hair? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, Karen from Curl House. I'm a licensed cosmetologist and a certified trichologist, meaning I specialize in hair loss. So today I am going to take you on a hair recovery journey with one of my clients. So this is Jessica. No, that's not her name. I did change her name to protect her privacy, but she wanted me to put her story out there so that if you are dealing with hair loss, you can learn from her and you can also help to restore your hair by following some of the steps that she did or to do what is going to be best for you. Okay, so let's get started. So Jessica came to me and said, help Karen, my hair is coming out and I don't know what to do. Now, when she came to me, she had already seen a dermatologist. Seeing a dermatologist, she was diagnosed with CCCA, which is central centrifugal cicatricial alopecia. So that is one of the most common forms of alopecia in women of color and black women. And as you can see in the picture, her hair was thinning out right in her crown. This type of alopecia is inflammatory, which means in a nutshell, inflammation is attacking the hair follicle, causing the hair to come out. Repeated over time, uh, the inflammation will cause the hair follicle to be completely destroyed so the hair will not grow back. So she already had a diagnosis from her dermatologist of CCCA. Note, only a, only a dermatologist can give you an actual diagnosis. I'm a trichologist, so I can recognize hair loss. I can recognize the hair loss patterns, but I will never give you a diagnosis. In the consultation, we discuss not just her diagnosis of CCCA, but we discussed a whole menu of things that's going on within her. During the consultation, she told me that her mother had recently passed away, so she was completely stressed out. So what do you think stress does to the hair? That exacerbates hair loss. And in addition to that, she was going through a divorce. So that too exacerbates hair loss because that's also stress, right? So in addition to that, it was in the middle of COVID. So you know she was stressed. Usually when you're dealing with hair loss, it may not be one issue. Hair loss may be multi-factored, so there may be numerous reasons that your hair could be coming out. Even though she had the diagnosis, I also knew that she was under a lot of stress. In the consultation, we also discussed some of her um, blood work. And in viewing her blood work, I realized that she also had low iron, or actually she had low ferritin. Ferritin is iron storage and her ferritin level was 14. Now, 14 is low. As a trichologist, I typically like to see that ferritin level at around 70. So I knew that was another reason that may be affecting her hair loss as well. And then we talked about her diet and she said, you know what, my diet is horrible. She eats a lot of sugary foods. So then I thought, okay, she's dealing with CCCA, which is an inflammatory type of hair loss. And she's eating a lot of foods that are high in sugar. Sugar raises the blood sugar. And in addition to that can lead to chronic inflammation. So if she's dealing with inflammation of the scalp here and feeding her body more foods that increase the inflammation, that is not helping her CCCA, it is not helping her hair loss. So after talking about all of these things, we came up with a treatment plan. And when I come up with the treatment plan, it's twofold. I address what's going on internally, then we discuss what she should be doing externally or doing to her scalp to help improve her hair condition as well. In terms of the treatment plan, what we came up with, I, first of all, disclaimer, I work with a MD, I work with a doctor. So the doctor that I work with gave her a recommendation to address her low ferritin and her low iron. So she first started taking a supplement to increase her iron. Secondly, 
we worked on stress reduction strategies, things that she can do to help reduce that stress. That was number two. And then the third thing we did, we had to address the inflammation internally. So in addressing the inflammation internally, she changed her diet. She actually, she went vegan. So she went hard. She went vegan. She started focusing on what she started eating. She started eating a lot of plant-based foods, raw foods to help address that inflammation. And she cut out all of the sugary things as well. Also, this client also is menopausal. Her estrogen levels were lower uh, because of her menopause. So in order to address that, I encouraged her to eat more estrogen rich foods. Now, these are some of the things that she did to address her internal deficiencies to help balance her body. Now, as I said, addressing hair loss is a two prong approach. The second approach is external. What are we going to do topically to help the hair follicle, to feed the hair follicle? And in doing that, Jessica used the entire Curl House collection, which is designed for hair loss or hair restoration. This product line is all about scalp care. She used the follicle stimulating growth shampoo twice a week. She followed up with the conditioner. So she did deep conditions to her hair and scalp. After that, she followed up with the leave-in conditioner uh, that she sprayed on her hair. You can also spray this on, her, on your scalp to strengthen the scalp as well. And the main thing that she did every day is use the follicle stimulating growth drops. The follicle stimulating growth drops are part of this collection, whoops, uh, they are what I call like vitamins in a bottle. They are plant-based. So just as she is feeding herself plants, um, she's also applying, she also applied the follicle stimulating growth drops directly to her scalp every day. So she is feeding and nourishing that hair follicle. When you are applying the growth drops directly to your scalp regularly, they penetrate the hair follicle and get to the inside beneath that hair follicle to feed the root, give it the nourishment that it needs to grow the hair. So I want you to see what her before and after looks like. This is her now picture. This is what she's doing now. And more importantly, she wore a scarf. She covered up her hair for so long. And recently she has been able to get her hair styled again and wear her natural hair out. So you can see this journey. She's getting her hair twisted. Isn't that awesome? Now keep in mind, this is a journey. This is not overnight. This took Jessica over six months to get her hair to that before and to that after. She followed her treatment plan. She addressed both internal and external. She followed the plan and she was consistent. I'll keep saying over and over again, consistency is key. It takes time to restore the hair. So I thank Jessica for allowing me to share her hair growth hair restoration journey with you because she wanted to be a testimony or a testament to what happens when you follow a treatment plan and you are consistent. Now, the Curl House Hair Restoration Collection is not just for people who are dealing with hair loss. Many, many women use it to maintain the health of their scalp because it's a scalp care collection. It gives the follicles what it needs to sustain and to grow healthy hair from the root. If you are dealing with dry and itchy scalp, the botanicals in it help to balance the sebum of the scalp that helps fight um, conditions like seborrheic dermatitis and also dandruff. So if you are focused on scalp care, then the Curl House Restoration Collection is a collection that you should consider trying. Okay, so I helped, hope this video will help you in your hair growth journey. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And until we talk again, stay back.